Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Esther Jogona Lifestyle. I'm back again with another amazing video. So it's a beautiful afternoon, beautiful day where I am to be precise in Kenya, Nairobi. But right now I'm not in Nairobi. I'm on my way to another country, guys. And uh, I'm starting this vlog from the middle of nowhere because um, I had to leave so early in the morning and uh, I was accompanied by some my clients and uh, why not so before we go on to the video we have new clients uh, we have new uh, subscribers here feel so much welcome and for a returning subscriber karibu ni tena sana i don't take that love for granted i love it so so much because it's, if it's not for you i couldn't be here yeah yeah so right now i'm on my way to another country and i'm so happy so privileged to be with you guys so i'm going to be traveling from kenya to another country yeah yeah by there's another security there who is giving me hectic yeah so i'm traveling by road and um i can't wait to be with you guys so this is a beautiful afternoon and i'm so privileged to be with you so i want to go with you to another country and with no further ado let's go and you're gonna know where we are going okay yeah so let's take you along so I'm not traveling alone. I'm traveling to do some curtain installation with my clients, but I'll not be showing you them, but let's travel to another country, okay? So let's travel to another country by road where we were riding through this road called Mombasa Road in Kenya, Nairobi. So Mombasa Road, it's a road that leads you from Nairobi to a coastal area, place called Mombasa. And on our way to uh, the border of another country, we encountered a very uh, bad uh, accident as you can see ahead. So we had stayed here for more than one hour waiting for the road to clear up so that we can continue with our journey but we had to wait so i had to walk around to see what is was uh, happening ahead but uh, unfortunately when i was almost approaching to the where the place uh, the accident had happened uh, the traffic started opening now the police had come to assist us so that we can continue with the journey so that was the lolly that was blocking the whole load you can see it's almost half uh, of the main load yeah so but we thank god we managed to uh, pass through and we continued with our journey which was so fantastic we uh, to had a very nice view of the place you can see when the the road was so clear outside i mean the sun the clouds were so shining very nice you can see the view of the place how it was nice then being my first time on this side i encountered to get to see a lot of animals of through a boseri um, national park it was so magnificent i couldn't hold my eyes uh, my eyes and i couldn't talk uh, uh vlog so much uh talking because I didn't want to disturb the space of my clients who were in front of the vehicle so I only did the recording so that I can come back here and explain to you and I hope guys you are going to be enjoying the the view as we are riding so guys we were riding through the road I hope you enjoy keep subscribing liking and sharing and also let's travel together
So from this point, we um, I was able to encounter the view of Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the dormant volcano located in Kilimanjaro region of Tanzania, which has three volcanic cones named uh, uh, Kimbo, Mawenzi, and Chira. It is the highest mountain in Africa and the highest single freestanding mountain above sea level in the world. And also it has 5,895 meters above the sea level and about 4,900 meters above its Prantu base. It is the highest volcano Africa and the eastern hemisphere, which I was so blown away because it was my first uh, time to see it just closer to me and um i was we were riding th through this road called loitoktok border which is uh, bordering kenya and tanzania yeah and also on our way we encountered a lot of animals which my gopro could not uh, zoom in closer to us to view them closely but the view was also eye-catching i was blown away i couldn't even hesitate to see whatever was outside and the mountain was having a very clear uh view where the clouds had not covered it yeah so guys if you are looking forward to come to this side of africa make sure you come and visit mount kilimanjaro and also don't hesitate to visit amboseri national park which is uh, just next to the border of kenya and tanzania yeah so guys keep subscribing liking and sharing to my videos we are almost to 5000 subscriber please take me to 5000 subscribers and i will appreciate and also don't forget to comment down below let let me know what you think about this place
alighted at the Buddha Kenya Buddha Tanzania and guys I hadn't told you that I'm going to Tanzania so right now we are at the border of Kenya and Tanzania and I'm traveling with my clients so I'm going there for curtain installation or the house that they have in the other side of the country yeah so that's why I've been, I haven't been vlogging so much but guys I just want to give you a brief of what I saw uh, because this is the first time I managed to come this side of I mean the first time I, I came through this road of Loi Tok Tok so right now we are at the border called Loi Tok Tok border point of Kenya and Tanzania and actually Loi Tok Tok entices Maasai land Maasai people yeah so right now we are just waiting at the border for clearance so we need to do the car clearance and also we need to go and uh, stamp our passports Though when we are coming, I managed to get a very nice view of uh, Kilimanjaro, Mount Kilimanjaro. I was so happy, guys. I was so overjoyed to see it. So, guys, if this is so the clip, but um, and then I also managed to see the home of Maasai, the Manyata traditional houses, the Manyata, the way they build with the clay, mud, mud soil, and then they carve it. Yeah, so. I have to come back here again and do who has been going round and round here and he found me filming at the border point and he told me madam you know you better stop filming or I grab that your camera so I had to, to stop the other video you know yeah so we are heading to Tanzania but not for so long and um I hope I'll manage to get to see the different side of K uh, Tanzania uh, because we are going to be there for only two days and then back to Nairobi and then I'm gonna plan another Daddy. journey yeah 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 so I'm gonna plan another journey to go and uh, do vlogging of Tanzania of Arusha so today we are going to somewhere called Moshi yeah as I had so let's go and see what the other side waiting for us and by the way, when we arrived here, immediately it started raining heavily, so heavily, guys, very heavily. And uh, we, like, I was like rained on. You can see. Oh my God, my shoes. Hmm? Guys, let me show you. See my, my foot. It's full of mud. Hmm? It's full of madness. Yeah. So. Let's go and see what Tanzania is waiting for us. Hmm? Yeah, keep subscribing, liking, and sharing. I hope I manage to do a lot of videos, but it's almost getting late. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do, but this place is way, way busy. Very busy with uh, tractors. Yeah, it's like the one which just stopped behind us. But let's wait. Let's get to wait and see. Right. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to TZ Tanzania, guys. So I'm in a place called Moshi, and the purpose. Um, this is a beautiful day. So yesterday, as I said earlier, we arrived here so late, and my purpose here that brought me back to TZ. I mean, that brought me here in a place called Moshi in Tanzania. It's purposely for my client. He's doing some construction on his house. And right now, as you can see behind me, we are in a hardware. We came to look for some painting of the house. And also we need to buy some uh, few building materials. Then we have to buy some sockets. Yeah, and then after painting, we're gonna fix the curtain nods tomorrow. Yeah, so my purpose this time wasn't mostly for on the vlogging side so much. So it's based on a... Um, my client Eland, you know, yeah. So this is what brought me here. It, he came, I came with him to do the construction. So we are on this place called Maleko Maleko Hardware to do the 
to buy the painting and some few yeah some painting and some few fillers for the stones so this is where we are guys i don't know what's happening there yeah so this is where we are in tanzania a town called moshi it's not so far away from the border actually i was told from here to arusha it'll take me around two hours from here to from moshi to arusha it'll take me two hours yeah it's a beautiful afternoon so that's why i'm not filming so much mostly outside because we are learning errands with him and also i want to put on the privacy for him you know yeah so let's purchase the paint and then we go to another shop and buy some electrical gadgets then go back home yeah so this is where we are we are buying the tiling the tiles and the painting From Zima, yeah. So we're in this big hardware and they have a lot of items over here. This is the granite. We're gonna come and pick it later. Yeah, after the kitchen is well prepared. Yeah, they love it so much. They have variety of them. So depending on his color theme, we might think of going with this gray. It's amazing. This is where we are at Marenko Hardware. welcome back guys so i'm gonna be giving you small stories of what is happening because i don't have time to film everything that is happening because i'm alone with my client but this is where we stay this is where we are staying and uh, this is where we came inside the village inside the village then we stay like this so these are the surrounding of the home we have a lot of fruits here we have a these are a lemon tree and a lot and bananas it's just a village by itself like you know so so deep fine yeah i'm good someone is saying hi so this is what we have uh the other surroundings a lot of bananas guys a lot of plantain can you see how big it is very big oh my god this is tanzania for you inside the village of moshi hmm? and this is the house that we came to fix even this electricity when we were leaving in the morning because we left early in the morning to go to moshi town to buy some um painting as i have shown you and also we went uh before we left he had gone early to buy some uh, wiring and everything because it's a new rebuilt house you see it's a new rebuilt house inside the village and guys i've hosted very very well over here we arrived yesterday today we spent the whole day in town and also we went to visit his other family in moshi area and we were hosted very well by swahili people actually there are swahili people in the uh, in tanzania only swahili people who are here yeah so you can see the car we came in mm -hmm. this is so amazing 
very amazing and here are the kids playing hmm? so this is the surrounding you know very nice hmm? can you see this they have a lot of trees there are some sugar canes there are some avocados tree like it look like a forest you bear you can barely see the anywhere yeah so this is the side of the roads hmm? these are the roads in the village so hidden hmm? yeah so this is the mama who is hosting us here the one who is looking after this home when the owner is not around i don't know where they are arguing this guy is the one who was saying hi to me and he's so drunk i think he's tr she's trying to remove him from home because there are so many people and the owner of uh, the home is inside the house uh, talking with other carpenters because he, there is a lot of work to be done guys if you are there and you want esther to come and fix some curtains for you Give me a call. What are you waiting for? I'm going to travel for you. Imagine. As long as you pay my transport, I'm here. I'm ready to come. You see, right now, I've traveled all the way from Kenya to Tanzania just to come in. Make sure that... Actually, I want to thank Ayamara once again because this client is from the UK. He found me through Ayamara. On December, I went and fixed their mom, their, his parents' home, and I did a very nice work. And then he said, when he come back to Kenya, because he has he has bought different houses in different area for vacation house, we gonna I'm gonna fix them. So right now we are in Tanzania with him to do all this work. Yeah. So if you are there, guys, and you are looking for someone to do your cutting installation esther jaguna is there for you so don't mind i'm gonna come back again here in tanzania and do some more filming specific for youtube and i'm gonna show you the moshi town actually it's so beautiful it's so big it's only that i couldn't i didn't have time to do that because um he has a kid i am trying to help him to take care of the child and also when driving i he was driving and i I couldn't be able to film when he's driving because I don't want to capture him on the picture. Yeah, just for the privacy, bear with me, guys. I'm going to just give you an update of what is going around for the time I'll be here in Tanzania. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen. And then tomorrow I'm going to be doing the work. So today, now because the electricity is fixed, we can do my work tomorrow. All right? Yeah, so this is the house. So beautiful, guys. So beautiful. I want to go and show you how I'm hosted. Hi, can you see my paper? You can, I can, I can see. Paper. You can't find your people? Let's go and find your people. Okay? I, I stayed in the jungle. Yeah? Yeah. You stayed in the jungle? Guys, this is the kid I'm talking to. Say hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Tell them, tell them. Hi guys. Hi. Uh -huh. What's her name, mommy? Korean. Yeah? Korean. She's called Korean, all the way from UK. <laughs> and this is the house. Yeah, so this is the house, guys. The entrance. Yeah. Yes? And these are your people here. Are you yeah. seeing your people? Yeah. You are looking for your people? Yeah. Your people? Say hi, are you your people? Hi. <laughs> What's your name? I don't know if you can see you. Devi Selly. Elikia. 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 Mommy, don't go. Okay. Guys, this is how I'm hosted. Can I have your, my phone? Yeah. I can be able to put on you the have light. Call. I have? Missed call. Okay. Guys, this is how I'm hosted. They are cooking us mandazi. Fresh mandazi. And this is my chef. Say my hi. Hi. What's your name, Mama? Vanessa. Vanessa? Yes. I have a girl, my niece called no, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Namesake. So you are? She's my namesake. Oh, yeah, her, your namesake. Yeah. Okay. You so she's mandazi? cooking us half mandazi. Yes. And this is the flour. And, and actually, we are inside the village, guys. And here surrounding us, we have some goats. 
Let me go next year. Let me just go. Until you hunger, man. Yeah. We have the goats here. Hi, goats. No. Yeah, so this is how they stay. Then we have the chickens. Hmm? And we have the cow. The other side. And here is Esther. <laughs> yeah, so guys, uh, it's already getting dark. I'm gonna be updating you tomorrow on what's going to happen and also show you when I'm working. Okay? Yeah, stick along. Let's uh, let's hang around. Okay. So this is the following day where I had to do my uh, the curtain installation later in the day because in the morning we had to paint the house also wait for the painting to dry before doing the curtain installation so I had to film this in the dark when I finished my work yeah because tomorrow we will be traveling back to Kenya Nairobi so this is how the outcome of the curtain look like and I am happy for my client because he chose a very nice curtain um, fabric that and also the theme of the house was matching very very well yeah so this house is still under construction guys don't mind the way it looks yeah so you can see also the painting that we did and on and the curtain looks so um they contrasted very well like they were matching so guys that's that's it about today's video thank you so much for watching up to this point don't forget to subscribe like and share comment also down below and hope to see you on my next video guys bye bye